Good to see you too, G. Jesse, how'd you find me? Oh, sure, just come on in, rude. So, if you're here, I'm guessing something is up? You think? <laughs> wow, you're grouchy, aren't you? I didn't ask you to come. In fact, if you left, that would be- Gaia, I- I messed up. I'll put the kettle on. Don't think I'll ever get used to you doing that. <laughs> Perks of being a witch. Here. Tastes horrible, but it will help calm you down. Cheers. Ugh, this is horrible. Well, next time call and I'll make sure to have some better tea. <laughs> so, what happened? I need you to relocate me. Jesse, I'm sure whatever happened is not that bad. I know you can appeal to the council. Just slow down. What happened? Were you exposed? I didn't see anything on the news or online. I attacked my... <sighs> you were dating a human? <sighs> Jesse... You were right, G. I thought I could be the exception to the rule. Is there a body to dispose of? No, they're alive. Just got tore up a bit. Then why do you need to be relocated? Because I'm a threat. I have their scent now. When the wolf comes out, it will hunt for them. You don't know that. You ever wake up in a pool of blood that's not your own? Uh, you know I haven't. I was kidding myself. I thought I could play human, but I'm not human. You broke things off? Of course. And they were in agreement? No. No? It doesn't matter. Jesse, this could be it! The way to break the curse! I said no. I don't want them involved. Ever again. Even if it might free you from the wolf? At what cost, Gaia? How many people do I need to hurt to try and save myself? Well, the council won't reconvene until tomorrow night. You're welcome to stay here until then, but... Jesse, I think you're being an idiot. Noted. Do you know how many people would jump at the chance to break the curse? Think about it! A life where you wouldn't have to live in fear of the full moon! No. It's not up to you. Don't you dare. You're my friend. The whole time I've known you, you've been miserable with this curse. And now you're just going to stop at the finish line? You know the price to be paid. A willing price. And it sounds like one your lover would be willing to pay. <sighs> ah, fine, I'll talk to the council. Thanks. I owe you. Yeah, well, remember that the next time I ask you for a favor. <sighs> that them? <sighs> They'll get over it. The guest room is upstairs. I'll get some extra blankets. <sighs> so much for a peaceful evening. Break the curse. What crap. <sighs> Even if I wanted to, the cost of it. It's too high. I can't. I can't put them in danger like that. Never again. Council will put me somewhere else and they'll forget all about me. New start for everyone. That's what needs to happen. They'll see that. Because if I stay here and I kill them,
I could never come back from that. It's been too close already. I have to stop pretending. It's over. All of this is over. That's the way it has to be.